Hello today all, and we're playing Super Pitfall, and right at the beginning of the fucking video, guess what happens? <laughs> I don't I don't even know, why would you put this, this is like this, trying to get some, first ladder, bam, you fall and you immediately get taken out by a fucking bat or a bird or wherever the fuck that thing is, but let's get into it. This game fucking sucks. And oh my god. Where do I even begin? Well, let's start with the graphics. <laughs> Outside, the starting level on the top. Alright. What the serious fuck am I even looking at? <laughs> it, 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 it's... Is that Roman columns and dozens of ancient Egyptian pyramids in the middle of a fucking jungle? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm at a loss for words to explain it. Just looking at this game makes my fucking eyes bleed, for one. Is that, is that like a pink fucking swimming eel down there with lips, too? What the fuck? Ah, <sighs> and who built all these fucking ladders? Yeah, I, I want to know that question. <laughs> I, who... Did some ancient society obsessed with ladders build all these fucking ladders? Underground, no less. And why is the background completely fucking black? Is it like a black abyss of nothingness? Is it supposed to be underground? Is it supposed to be dark? <laughs> I'm already down to one life, but... <laughs> <laughs> why do the snakes, like, I said, why in the fuck do the snakes have lipstick on? Those freaky looking motherfuckers. This game only reaffirms my hatred for spiders. For two. Uh, what are those glowing bricks, my collecting? Is it supposed to be gold, or is that like, depleted uranium? Is Pitfall Larry going, Pitfall Harry, Larry, whatever the fuck his name, going to die of cancer now? <laughs> Uh, why does my character gun shoot bullets as big as his head? Why does he have baby blue hard hat on and pants? <laughs> what is the objective of this fucking piece of shit? <laughs> I, what is the... I mean, like seriously, what am I doing? Why am I here? Was Pitfall, was Pitfall Harry's motivation? And ah, uh, why is it that when you walk under a waterfall, that I might add is uh, actually coming from the sky? Does it break all the laws of physics and push you through whatever object you happen to be standing on? Why can't you jump off ladders? Why do scorpions want to feast upon your baby blue pants? Maybe they like blue pants. I don't know. I have so many questions about this game. The, gra the graphics are utter tripe, even by NES standards. <laughs> There's literally no background under the earth at all. It's, it's just blackness. The textures are small and repeat. It seems to be an infinite number of fucking times. The ladders. <sighs> oh my god. The ladders. The ladders, the ladders. You literally have ladders to know where to serve no fucking purpose whatsoever. It's like it's like they couldn't think of anything else to fill the fucking level with, so they let's just put ladders all over the fucking place. Ugh. What else? The enemies, oh, on the first level. Snakes with lips, scorpions with chase shoes, spiders that are blind, extremely angry fish, gigantic mutant frogs, bats that are apparently bulletproof, and eels that completely ignore you. <laughs> four, of the, four of those enemies, actually five of the enemies, are completely immune to bullets. Remember on a good game like Mega Man when you can shoot the bats that are nesting on the ceiling? You can shoot them before they fly at you? Nope, not here. Bullets go right fucking through them, as I demonstrated earlier in this video. Spiders can't shoot them because you can't duck and shoot. Scorpions, same reason. You can't fish, can't shoot underwater. 
the, <laughs> the freaky fucking snakes with the lips will actually rear up. And as your chance to, sh to shoot them, the frogs will occasionally jump into your bullets, but I wouldn't count on it. Let's also not forget that all the items you need to progress in this pile of excrement are invisible. That's right. You fucking heard me. Fucking invisible. You need to actually jump near them for them to magically appear out of thin air. But, <laughs> the gold is like big flashing yellow brick which serves no purpose whatsoever but to inflate your damn score if you actually manage to actually play this game long enough to increase the score. <laughs> but, stuff you need to progress? Nope. Hiding that shit. There is so much pop-up on this game too, constantly Walking in any direction will, ha will have enemies and platforms and water and, and then it will pop up just about, about 10 feet from you and give you almost no time to react. <laughs> so, again, I wouldn't count on living too long. And it's just a horrible, horrible fucking experience. I would recommend this if you're into, into self-torture, maybe if something particularly bad, you did something particularly bad yesterday, go out, buy this game, find an yes, stick it in, pry your eyes open, and play. I bet you whatever freaking god you worship will forgive you of all your sins almost immediately. Don't quote me on that though. I really don't even want to keep playing this thing <laughs> and just file it into the same landfill that E.T. was put to rest in. <laughs> It's, it's like a tragic joke, especially since the original Pitfall was such a wonderful game, and yes, I am that old. I played the original Pitfall on the Atari 2600. Yeah, 34 years old, and I played it when I was like, four. Ah, uh, but this, I would rather chew broken glass while gouging my eyes out with rusty spoons and continue to play this. Yeah, I would rather fling myself off the highest skyscraper, and I am afraid of heights by the way, and light myself on fire on the way down, than to continue playing this game. I would rather watch an Oprah marathon of her 236 seasons or whatever she fucking did of her fucking show than continue to play this rancid <laughs> abortion of fucking pixels. That's how bad I hate this game. I honestly can't think of a single person who would like this game, and if you do like it, then there's probably something men mentally wrong with you. <laughs> ah, you know it sucks. I know it sucks. I don't, I don't need to tell you that it sucks. So, just don't fucking play it. Take the cartridge to a priest, have it cleansed, then make a bonfire outside and sacrifice it to whoever, Cthulhu or whatever. <laughs> That's the end of the fucking story. And the end of Pitfall Larry or Harry or Barry or whatever the fuck his dumbass name is. So, you know, just... Goodbye, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching.